What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the healthy and delicious grocery haul on a budget. What that basically means is that I went to the grocery store and I purchased a lot of healthy items that were also delicious and we saved some money. Because let's be honest, funds is the number one thing that stops a lot of us from achieving our goals, taking our results to the next level. So budget friendly options are always the way to go. So in this video today, I'm going to show you guys what I eat on a weekly basis. I'm going to show you all the items and I'm also going to explain to you how and why I actually eat these foods. At the end of the video, we'll go over the price of everything. And also at the end of the video, I'll go over a few non-popular items that are going to be extra delicious and that will actually help you sustain the diet. A few additives that you can add to your diet to spice things up and just keep you pushing throughout the whole journey. So this video right here is for bodybuilders, for anyone trying to live a healthier lifestyle, anyone looking to lose weight, to lose some fat, anyone looking to build muscle. This video is for any and everybody. So let's get into it. So first thing you need to keep in mind when you go grocery shopping, focus on three macronutrients, proteins, fats, and carbs. We're gonna go over proteins first, then we'll jump to the carbs, and then we'll finish off with the fats. So up first on the protein, we have tenderloins. These are your boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins. These are the cute tenderloins, all right? This is the cute chicken right here. All nice, small and petite. You have your huge breasts, which are the more masculine chicken breasts. And quite frankly, I don't enjoy eating them simply because they always come out dry. I put them in the air fryer, the oven, right on the stove, just pan seared it, grilled them. Now normally grilled does do the trick, but it's kind of cold outside, so no one's pulling out the grill. So I'm sticking to the tenderloins. I can throw these on the stove and they always still come out nice and juicy. You gotta go for the lean option. This is the boneless, skinless chicken breast. Always go lean. Now the reason I don't have to shop in bulk, I don't have to get a large family size pack of chicken breast, is simply because I switched my meals up. So I also have the ground turkey. So this is the 93 lean ground turkey. That means there's 7% fat. I go for ground turkey and I also go for the ground beef, both 93.7. And this just helps me split up my meals. I can have a meal with chicken, I can have a meal with ground turkey, and I also can have a meal with ground beef. That's three meals right there. I don't have to eat the same thing over and over all throughout the day. I will eat the same thing every single day, but not all throughout the day. Also pick up some ground sirloin. Yes, the ground sirloin has a little bit more fat, in every serving. But the thing I like about the ground sirloin is that it's more tender. It'll cost you a little bit more, so if you wanna go for a cheaper option, you gotta go for the ground beef. But again, this just tastes super, super good. And another difference is simply the section of the cow that these both come from, but we won't get disgusted. All right, next up, let's talk about eggs. Always grab at least 12 to 18 whole eggs. Some days I may do two, some days I just may eat one, but you don't wanna avoid yolk in your diet. I would always recommend at least having one yolk in your diet. And because I only have one yolk, I gotta top it all off with egg whites. So one of these containers of egg whites, you get 20 of them. I eat anywhere from six to seven egg whites a day, but that's all based off of my protein needs. Everyone's needs are different so I have to load up on eggs in the morning so I can make sure by the end of the day I'm not trying to scrape around and get more protein now if you are one of those folks out there who do have a hard time getting your protein in I recommend you get you some Greek yogurt so this Greek yogurt that I have right here is your Faye brand and it has 18 grams of protein per serving each serving is about 170 grams, which is a lot. So although this Greek yogurt might not taste the best, what you can do to fix it up is throw some stevia in there, maybe some cinnamon, and definitely some protein powder. I wix that thing up and it's on point, I promise you that. And another reason I like Greek yogurt is because I hate cottage cheese. I think we all know that cottage cheese is one of the go-to when it comes to building muscle. No, not in my house. Comment below, are you a Greek yogurt fan or a cottage cheese fan? All right, if you want to get super fancy and spend a little extra money, shrimp. So grab you some shrimp. Thaws out real fast. You can throw it on the stove, pan sear it for about 10 minutes or so. And you can throw it on rice. You can throw it on vegetables. Shrimp is a go-to, super lean. Minus all that junk that you hear about the tilapia, I keep it in the diet. Now some say it's like smoking a cigarette because of the carbon monoxide that's in here, but who cares? It's super lean, it always gets me super shredded, and it's a go-to for me, man. I throw this in the oven for like seven minutes, it's maybe 350 degrees, maybe 375, but it works magic to the gains, I promise you that. All right, next up, I know you see it. Pizza. Gotta incorporate you some pizza. This only has 320 calories per serving and it's four servings. You could go to work on some pizza. We got cheese. 
we got pepperoni. We made this healthy because we got the thin and crispy. This is thin and crispy. Gotta include you some pizza into your diet. All right, y'all know I'm bullshit. But it does look good though. All right, since I've already brought it up, let's talk about carbs. I'm currently following a low carb diet plan. I like to do carb cycling. I do it every time I'm cutting down on fat. Call it what you want, but through experience and knowledge, I do believe that carb cycling is the way to go when you wanna have that rapid fat loss. So if we're talking about carbs, first and foremost, cream of wheat. So I'll go for cream of wheat sometimes. I also do the oats. This is dry cereal if you do not know what cream of wheat is. For me, it digests pretty good. It also doesn't leave me feeling super full. I know a lot of you out there eating oats every morning. After your breakfast, you feel it all right here on your stomach. Not with the cream of wheat. Pretty similar macros. You're looking at 130 calories per serving. And each serving is just in a simple packet where I can just open the packet, dump it in a bowl. I got the maple brown sugar and I also have the, the cinnamon apple. The cinnamon apple with real apples. You can't beat the cream of wheat. So this is my go-to. Sometimes I even put my egg whites inside of here if the egg whites become too bland. Now this wouldn't be a true healthy grocery haul if I did not incorporate rice cakes. You gotta have you some rice cakes in your diet. Yes, they taste like cardboard, we know. If we're talking about a quick snack that's low carb, you can't beat a rice cake. Now also you have a lot of different brands like the caramel brand, chocolate chip, the apple cinnamon. And with those flavors, you can actually take some peanut butter and throw it on top. Super, super good, I recommend it. Now this right here is the everything flavor. I have not had this flavor before, but I'm gonna assume it's super, super good. They even give you a recipe on the back to make it 10 times better. They threw some salmon on the rice cake. Come on. All right, we got the basmati rice right here. Yes, I eat brown rice, white rice, jasmine rice, but I also eat basmati rice. I love the consistency. I'm not gonna grade one rice over the other. It's all about your preference. I would always recommend you to go with quinoa over rice, but if you just don't like quinoa, which not a lot of people do, then grab you a nice rice. Just don't overdo it on rice. No matter what carb you decide to consume in your diet, just never overdo it. That's all dieting is about. It's about monitoring your foods, eating in moderation, and not overdoing anything not making things too complicated. Now, if you really want to take your gains to the next level, sweet potatoes. Gotta go grab you some sweet potatoes, some yams, whatever you want to call them. But these things right here are loaded in fiber. What I like to do is place them in the oven for about 45 to 60 minutes, depending on the size of them. Take it out, put some peanut butter on there. The peanut butter is going to melt all nice and runny. Throw some stevia on there, throw some cinnamon on there. Oh man. But when I'm eating carbs, sweet potatoes are a go-to. And I don't want to blow anybody's mind, but sweet potato is actually a vegetable. <laughs> so since we're talking about vegetables, my two go-to vegetables are broccoli, spinach. I would say any green vegetable is normally a go-to when you're talking about health. But I personally like the broccoli. I throw it in the steamer, comes out super great. I also take the spinach and I put it inside of my omelet that I make in the morning, which consists of, again, the egg whites and the whole egg. Throw that spinach in there and we're good to go. So some of the other greens that I do, celery, kale, cucumbers. Now, hopefully you guys seen my video where I posted some top healthy choices when it comes to muscle building, but in general, when it comes to living a healthier lifestyle, these vegetables were in there. So you must include these in your diet. So what I like to do to get more veggies in is mix it all up in a juice. So in the morning, I drink a green juice, which you might have seen in one of my diet videos. You also may have seen me and my wife when we went on a detox. I have a nice juicer and I'm drinking my juice every single morning after I drink my coffee. I'm getting in my veggies. Your body needs to be full of veggies. One, it keeps you full and two, it helps your bones grow stronger. Also, another thing about greens is a lot of them serve as a natural diuretic. So it helps you flush out toxins all throughout the day. You can quote me on that. And since I brought it up, apples. Again, I'm doing the green apples because I'm putting it in my green juice. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. All right, y'all, we're getting close to the end, but we got a lot to cover still. We still haven't went over fats and we still haven't touched those non-popular items that are super, super good. That's still gonna help you push further in your journey. So if you are still here, I encourage you all, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's help the channel grow, it costs you nothing. What we want is for this video right here to get out to the masses. We want more than just you to watch this video. We want everyone to save money when it comes to living a healthier lifestyle, building some muscle, tapping into that weight loss. It's all about saving money in the grocery store. So again, I encourage you, share this video. All right, so for our last carb source, oat milk. Now, a lot of you out there don't know about oat milk, but this right here is a new go-to for me. 
This is better than your normal milk. And when I say better, I'm mainly speaking on anyone out there who is looking to maximize their gains. When I say maximize your gains, I'm talking about taking them to the next level. Because what this oat milk does is it gives you a nice spike in carbs, especially post-workout. So when you're talking about that protein powder, you mix it into the shaker, we're gonna ditch the water for a little bit. We're gonna throw in some oat milk. This is gonna give us some carbs post-workout, and it's also gonna fill us up with a lot of vitamins. Vitamins that obviously water is not gonna give us. But this oat milk right here is dairy-free, lactose-free, peanut-free, soy-free. All right, we don't wanna be fat, so let's talk about fat. Peanut butter, and I'm talking about natural peanut butter. You wanna remove the sugar, you wanna remove a lot of the sodium, you wanna remove all those preservatives, all the additives, all the bull crap that they put into the peanut butter. So you wanna go for a natural peanut butter. Peanut butter to me is the best food on the planet. All right, that's a lot of cat. Pizza is the best food on the planet. But peanut butter is number two. I throw peanut butter in my oats, cream of wheat. Like I said, I put it on my rice cakes. I put it on my sweet potatoes. I can just take a spoonful of peanut butter. I've sat at the dinner table one night when I was on a diet. This is way back in like 2014 or 15. And I ate a whole tub of peanut butter. My coach said, hey man, go get you some peanut butter. I said, bet, let's do it. Ate the whole thing at the dinner table, less than five minutes. Peanut butter is a go-to, love this stuff. Almonds, one to two handfuls of almonds is all you need, do not overdo it. If you overdo it on fat, you will jack up your gains. So I encourage you to make sure you're tracking everything that you're eating. Make sure you're not over consuming any of these food items that you see because you will gain weight if you eat too many calories. It's simple, although these are healthy food items, you still can gain weight off of them, so be careful. But for me, almonds are a go-to. I can throw it in my cream of wheat, my oats. I can just eat a handful of them, or I can throw them on like a salad. Simplicity. All right, now, we finished everything in the grocery store, but we have a few of the non-popular items that I do believe, if you incorporate these into your diet, they're gonna help you keep pushing further and further and further, taking your gains all the way to the next level. So if you're ready, let's get to them. Sugar-free barbecue sauce. Sugar-free ketchup. I can't believe it's not butter. Protein meal replacement shakes. Coke Zero. Sugar-free syrup. Protein bars. Stevia. Crystal Light. Coconut oil cooking spray. Extra virgin olive oil. All right, I actually think there's one thing I forgot to talk about. It is very, very important. This is probably the number one thing that you should keep in mind when you're chasing a goal. Water. Our bodies are full of water, we need it, hands down. I grab these bottles because they are convenient. I can take them on the go. But what I do have is a purifying pitcher. This allows me to drink tap water throughout the day, purified tap water. Now let me show you what I mean. Now this right here is gonna blow your mind. I have a pitcher right here. Just clean these glasses. Fresh purified water. Let's grab us some tap water. Believe there's some folks out there drinking tap water. And don't get me wrong, I used to drink tap water myself. Not anymore. All right, back to the video. All right, y'all, that is actually all I have for this video. This was the grocery haul where we filled up on healthy and delicious food choices on a budget. For all the food items that you see on the list that are gonna last me for a week, cost us $40. That is a budget right there. $40 a week. If we're talking $40 a week, we're obviously talking about $160 a month. I think that is sustainable. I think you can do it. I encourage you to try to do it. Go to your grocery store, try to pull all the cheap, healthy items, maybe even the ones you see in this video, and see if you can spend under $50. I will put a small disclaimer out there. I do shop at the commissary. For all of you who do not know, the commissary is a grocery store for all of our military personnel. It's on the military installation. That is where I currently shop. The difference between commissary and your place like Aldi or Walmart is simply a dollar more for certain items, maybe a little bit of change, but we also don't have to pay for tax here. So yes, I did spend $40, but I'm sure you can get everything that I have on this list for $50 or less. So with that being said, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got a little bit out of it. I hope you will implement some of these food choices that you saw here and you'll put it into your diets and you all will take your results to the next level. Again, make sure you help out the channel by subscribing. Join the X Factor Fitness team. Hit the bell, turn notifications on so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I can upload more videos like this if you would like me to. What I need from you is shares. I need likes. I need 100 likes, 500 views. That is not a lot to ask for. And with that being said, We'll catch y'all in the next one.
Before you go, I want to encourage you to do a few things. Download the free X Factor Fitness app where you will have access to tons of workouts, exercises, and more. Follow me on Instagram where you have access to workouts and motivation daily. Also, check out some of my old videos. Lots of playlists just for you. And never forget, subscribe for more.